Hey everybody, Josh DiStefano here, pianist, composer, writer, teacher. I'm here to help you become the musicians you want to be. I hope you're all having a safe and healthy quarantine up here in the Pacific Northwest. We've been locked down about six weeks. Things are beginning to blur together. I attempted to cut my own hair, I think, with mixed results. Um, but anyways, this is video number five in the Improve Your Time series. Today we're going to move into something really exciting. We're going to start putting the metronome on two and four. This may not sound exciting to you, but I'm telling you for me this was this was sort of a, a key to the kingdom. Once I got used to this, it really sort of expanded my knowledge of what time and rhythm could be and I became much more aware of uh, my own problems and things that needed to be correct and I started to hear things differently. So hopefully you'll find it to be as uh, exciting as I did. And after you get used to it, you'll start to hear that two and four as the backbeat of the drums. Crap! Crap! Because they're always playing on two and four. So, get out the old metronome. One, two, three, Four. You just want to start counting. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Because you've got to get used to not having that click on one. And if you had never done that before, it's very different to have a big empty hole where there used to be the downbeat. Or oh, one, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So, We'll start with scales. We've been doing a lot of scales. I'll start with the F minor scale. And this is just a good way to practice uh, getting used to the feeling. It's predictable. It's quarter notes. Four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two. Now, as you start playing around, especially if you're not used to doing this, you might find that you end up flipping the beat around and suddenly you're playing and you realize the metronome is now on one and three. And you, you finish, you know, and you're... So then you stop. And you say, okay, something went wrong. You take a breath and you reorient to the click in your head. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three three, four. It's okay if you get off. Like I said, just stop, take a breath, listen to the click, get it back when you're thinking of it on two and four, and start again. Now, we've been doing a lot of scales, but of course, you don't only want to be able to play scales. They're just a good starting point. You want to be able to play other stuff. Other stuff. Here, I'm going to do a little two chord vamp, C minor to F, and we'll practice with the metronome in two and four. One, two, three, Four, two, and three, and four, and two. Happy practicing. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear what, what's working, what's not working. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. Please give the video a like. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay home, and I'll see you next time.